Hi, this is Loretta coming at you with another video for Scrapbooking with Me Boutique. And this time it is for the June 2016 kit. I know I'm late coming out with this. I had this project done last weekend. However, I didn't have time to film. So, I'm sorry about being late for this. But, uh, here it is. This is made with the Authentic Durable Collection. Which was part of the kit. And let me get started. Um... This is a cigar box that came in with the kit, and I designed this for my husband so that he could put his keys and his stuff from work that he brings in every day. Um, I layered up a bunch of these elements, as you guys know that I love to do, and for those that may be first-time watchers, what I did was I took some of the sticker elements the cardstock sticker elements from the kit and also some of the cutouts from the kit mounted them on chipboard and then popped them up on foam tape for that layered effect. I did add some elements for my stash. These are brads that I used a Tim Holtz distress hammer that I've got in my stash that I bought a long time ago that I used to distress metals like this. Um, it did come with some really super cute brads, but I didn't have quite enough to go around the whole project, so I just went ahead and went with these. Um, this is a license plate that I had in my stash and some little leftover wood pieces that I had in my stash. These are sprockets from the kit, along with a stamp that I used a stamped image of the sprockets along some of these um, projects that I did this time. So, I'll turn it a little bit so that you can see. Um, I did use the Distress Stain. Um, and what I did was I sprayed, I just sewed the box, and then I sprayed the stain on my craft mat. And then I took a brush and just put a very little amount on it so that I could dry brush that onto the sides and front of the box and the top of the box and then I used the cording that came into the kit to go around the side of the box to add a little bit more a um, little bit more design okay and now I'm gonna go ahead and cover you up just a minute so that I can move the camera up and let's see yes okay now I have the other three elements that I designed in frame. I wanted you to see that they are hanging on a wall. I'm going to take you off the tripod in just a moment and then after that we will come back and examine a little bit more closely. I can go over what I did with you. So let me cover you up one more time so that I can get a little bit closer, take you off tripod and hopefully not make you too sick. So, I'm just going to get up closer and give you guys a look at the canvases one by one. And there we go. There's one of them. And there's one of them. And then there's the third one right there. Okay, and so I'm going to go ahead and take off the canvas and I'll bring it over and we'll talk a little bit about it. So hang on just a minute. Let me take one of these down so that I can talk to you guys about it. Bring it back over to the tripod area. And again, I've got this covered up because I don't want to make you sick. I'm doing an awful lot of shaking around and I really don't want to make you guys sick. So, I'm going to get all of this arranged ahead of time, and hopefully that won't make you guys too sick. Okay, now, I've taken one of these down off the wall so that I can go over the properties a little bit with you of what I did. Um, this is um, burlap canvas 
that I got at Michael's. It's very thick. Well, it's thicker than chipboard, although I'm not sure that you can pick that up on the canvas. So I used an old-fashioned eyelet setter and poked the holes, and then I used some jump rings, um, some little, little tiny jump rings, um, for the hanging element, which I am very pleased with. I think it turned out really, really cute. So, a lot of times in the kits, we get items that are for mixed media, are things that you can use um, over and over again. And so, um, I love that about the kits because you can put them down in your stash and you can use them over and over again, which I love. So, this um, element up here that you see is a stencil that I used some whipped spackle. And I'm not sure that you can see the shimmer coming up off of that, but I did mix in the whipped spackle some um, Lindy Stamp Gang. Um, I'm losing the name of the product. Um, but you can mix it. It's available in the boutique. And you can mix it in with your mediums, and you can get color with that. So I love that. Um, I used on the canvas to color it to match the paper. I used um, three different types of distress paint. I'm not sure if Edith still has that available in the shop or not, but... Um, I know that you can get sprays, paints, and all sorts of things like that. Then I took that same sprocket stamp that you saw on the box that I did, and I just randomly stamped here and around. I distressed the paper, um, and then I went around the edges of, well, I, I laid it down with um, multi-matte medium. And then I also distressed the edges of that with the distress paint. I laid down a wooden piece here that I got from Michaels and I painted it with the same three colors that I painted on the panel itself. And then I randomly also stamped on it just to grunge it up a little bit. Here I used a Prima Clock and I used a Tim Holtz word band and tied that on there with some twine. Um, all of the canvases have a special date that is on there. This is 1231, and those are special dates, dates that are special with me and my husband. So that just kind of made, you know, means something to him. Um, this, um, again, these are pieces that came from the kit that I um, adhered onto chipboard and then popped up onto foam tape. And here are some, this is just an element that came from um, the kit that I cut apart and adhered to it. Here are some little um, Prima Say It in Crystals. These are some sprockets that came in the kit. This is a cutout from a Tim Holtz die that I mounted onto um, chipboard, painted, distressed up, and then layered it down. So... I'm really pleased. Oh, and you can't really see it here. Um, you might can see a little bit of it peeking through here. But also on the uh, burlap canvas itself, I adhered some Tim Holtz tissue tape with some multi-matte medium. And then, you know, let that dry. Which you can see that peeking through on some of the other cabinet, on some of the other canvases. I just think it adds some to the artistic design and overall textures um, in the canvases. So anyway, I'm really, really happy with how those three canvases turned out along with the box. I hope you guys like them. If you have any questions at all about this project, please let me know. I'm about to film a video of the August kit, which goes live on today's date, which is August the 10th. If you want it, you better go grab it. They are in very limited quantities, these kits are. Um, if you want to become a member of the boutique so that you can get in on these great deals, I will put a link to that below in the description box. And as always, I really, really appreciate you guys watching the things that I do. And I read each and every one of your comments and I cherish them all. So anyway, um, oh yeah, hang on just a minute. 
I forgot I made one more little tiny piece out of the design paper and I forgot to show it to you. Okay, so here it is. This is a little tiny canvas just to give you some reference. There's my hand. So it's only about six by six and here I put some little Tim Holtz light bulbs. Um, I used some of the sticker elements and also some of the design paper and all I did was adhere that down onto this little metal piece and simple as that I had a little piece of art for his man cave. At any rate, okay, so that's everything for this video. Again, all the links are below in the description bar. I love you guys. I read all your comments and they mean so very much to me. So until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye now.